You know, there's a lot that makes the perfect ad creative. There's the hook, the body, my favorite part to really dissect into, and the call to action. And when you see that perfect creative across the bar staring at you, and you invite her back to your apartment so that you can drink a couple brewskis and party hardy and watch a movie or two, take some photos, and then they'll get paid. But then, when they're nice and drunk, you can really see why that creative was a winner okay that intro was a little dark but today i'm gonna to be creating winning tiktok ads live for you so you can see how to take clips from the internet and turn them into eye-catching winning creatives for any product that you sell and we're gonna be creating ads for this product right here the heating eye massager an absolute classic a baddie if i say so myself and the first step to really doing any ad is doing the proper research and finding the best clips especially if you don't have a ugc team in place because i would say 90 percent of the battle of creating winning ads is finding the right clips. So I'd say 80% of your time as an editor is researching clips, looking up the major keywords on TikTok, on YouTube, Alibaba, AliExpress. There's so many different places you can source clips, but the best place is always gonna be TikTok because the videos on TikTok are native to the platform. And when you're creating TikTok ads, you don't want them to feel like ads. And I know that has been repeated a million times, but the real best way of doing that is you find great UGC clips, people talking about your product, using your product, showing great demonstration clips. The best clips are always people talking talking and demonstrating how to use the product. Those are the golden nuggets. And if we look at this video right here, we got some good B-roll shots. Now I would say these shots are kind of extraneous. These are the shots I tend to avoid unless it demonstrates how to use the product. So just having a product in your hand, very basic shot. I would not include that into your ads. But if we go into the rest of this, she's pressing the button and you can see the massager actually in action. It's massaging and then she has it on her face because yeah, you can't actually show the massaging properties of this product if it's on your face, but you can do it there, which is a great demonstration clip. And you're gonna have to scroll down a bit to find the exact product that you are selling because there's gonna be instances where when you look up these generic keywords, there will be other products, there will be products that look like yours, but honestly aren't the exact same. So the major keys here is we're looking for a keypad on the eye of the massager. Okay, so right here, I see that keypad. We got a person wearing the product, saying some good lines. Now I'm gonna keep everything on mute because of copyright, your boys gotta make that dollar. Child support ain't cheap, I gotta say so myself. But Basically what we would do is we would take the best clips that we're finding on TikTok and the best clips are always gonna be people talking. It feels very natural, feels very authentic. And you're gonna grab these best clips and then repurpose them into an ad creative. But once you identify some TikTok videos you like, you're just gonna grab the link. You'll go to SnapTik just like this and you can easily download them without the watermark by posting the link right here, clicking download and you're good to go. But like I said, the majority of your time is gonna be going into researching clips and TikTok's not the only place where you can do research. You can go onto YouTube and you can see plenty of videos like this one right here. This person's got the exact eye massager I'm looking for, and I'm sure she would have plenty of good talking points about the product. In fact, let's see if she has anything that we can use. I do think my headache has lessened. Which Ooh, is that is a good line right there. That is a major benefit of a talking point that I'm sure is going to be mentioned over and over again. And the great part about doing research on multiple platforms is you get to see why did people buy this product. And when you're writing ad scripts and trying to create winning ad creatives, you need to understand your audience inside and out, especially if you are not in that target audience. I don't suffer from headaches or sleep problems or anything like that, even though I sleep at four in the morning from all the hard work and grinding. But in order to understand my audience, you need to watch videos on TikTok, on YouTube. You need to read reviews on Amazon. You have to be trying to get information from a bunch of different resources to see what are the commonalities, what are the major benefits, objections, problems, and reasons as to why people would buy your product. And the only way you could do that is by doing the research and you can't cheat that process. Because if you do, your marketing's gonna suck, your ads are gonna suck, your clips are gonna be all over and you're gonna talk about benefits in your ads that just simply don't matter. Now, another place where you can get great clips is on PP ads. You just look up the major keyword, which I did right here, eye massager, scroll on down and you see what clips you can find and it's super easy this to download right as well. Here. So we see this guy talking about the product. I'm sure we will download this, maybe remove the text, but this is a really good UGC authentic TikTok style video. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have our hook secured for this ad. Not gonna lie. Okay, this is one of my favorite purchases of the entire year. It's an eye massager that's- Oof, that is a great hook right there. Unfortunately, this product does not have the same 
features and design as our current eye massager. You can actually tell it has a little music and then a power button. But if you're wondering how to download hey, one, any clips that you do find on PP ads that are usable, what do you do? Go to the TikTok URL, super duper simple. And then once it loads, you would go through the exact same process of copying that TikTok URL and then pasting it into SnapTech. And it's just amazing how many different clips and unique angles you can find when you are doing the proper research. So this viral eye massager feels insane. We got some this? good clips, person talking about their experience. And then when we go back to TikTok, there were so many videos of people reviewing it. Now, before we get into the rest of the TikTok creative goodness, if you are an e-commerce brand that is selling a product and is stuck between five to 30 grand a month, my agency Blotion Digital will help you create all new creatives for TikTok, Facebook, and manage your ads on both platforms to help you double your revenue or your money back. So if you're at all interested in scaling on TikTok and Facebook, all you have to do is click the link in my description, book a call, and we can see if we're the right fit for helping you scale your brand. So what I'm going to most likely do is I'm going to take the time of finding at least 10 to 20 unique clips that I can stitch together into my different ad creatives. And I like to make at least five ad creatives for every single product I test initially, which is why we're going to need 10 to 20 different clips that are longer form that are around 30 seconds plus. And in these videos, what are the major things I'm looking for? I'm looking for good clips showing the product in use. I'm looking for people talking that are authentic, that are sharing their experience. They're talking about benefits of the product. I'm really trying to avoid clips that feel very stock clippy, that feel very Chinese, the supplier, you know, those type of videos where it just feels feels so inauthentic and it feels very Facebooky. And just to show you an example of what I mean by that, when I went to the Alibaba and looked up this product, here is the first video that I saw. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall asleep. This is absolutely oh my God, there's a guy singing. But you can see super generic, very boring. And a better example would be this right here. This woman who's talking directly to her camera. It feels natural, feels authentic. It's not too professional. Also, that's a key thing with clips. It should feel like people are filming on their phones because that's what most people do on TikTok and that's what's authentic. So let's just look at a few seconds of this. I used to be someone who struggled sleeping at night and staying asleep, especially because of my anxiety. But ever since finding the Renfo eye massager. Ooh, dang, that is a good line. Super authentic, super natural. That's the type of clips you want in your ad. So once you find multiple clips for your dropshipping product, the next step is figuring out the different frameworks that you can do to showcase your product in the best possible light with your ads. And if you're selling a non-problem solving product, clothing, chains, whatever it is, you're typically just gonna try to have multiple clips in a collage type of format of different shots that make the product look cool. So on different models and different backgrounds, et cetera, et cetera. And then with the problem solving product, there is gonna be a little bit more nuance to it because you typically need a hook and then you need to talk about the problem and then you need to talk about the product solving the problem and then you got to get into some benefits and a call to action so here are the main frameworks that i use for problem solving products i do problem finding the product two benefits transformation so now my life is completely changed forever my tiktok hook three benefits call to action and these frameworks are all different so that i can have different angles and different looks to sell my product because one of these formats might work a lot better than another when it comes to selling that specific product and some are longer and some are shorter and this is all strategic because you really don't know what's going to sell your product the best until you have different frameworks until you try it in different angles to see what resonates the most with your audience so personally if i'm going into the problem with this product which is an eye massager it helps you with your sleep i would say the problem is are you tired of being tired? And then finding the product would be, well, with this eye massager, you can relieve stress, you can help yourself sleep in minutes, whatever it is. And when you are writing text benefits, it's really important, especially with TikTok, you keep it to six to eight words max. It should be four words on a line. So if you do write eight words, it should be two lines, four words on each one of them, because when you have too much text, it really just distracts the whole feel from the video, it distracts your viewer from watching the demonstration clips. So you wanna keep it as short and concise as possible while telling them what the benefit is. Now, if you're creating custom content for a dropshipping product you're selling, what I would really recommend doing is sending over a brief to your influencer. So you send the product and then give them the major talking points. What are the major benefits about your product that make it unique from all the other options out there? So for me, I keep it incredibly simple. I like briefs that are short, simple, and take a minute to do. So I will tell my influencer, hey, I need five videos. I need three photos. Here are the different angles you need to take. So do two ads that are how to use the product, two that are 
demonstration ads and one that's more controversial. It's got a unique hook to it that most people don't associate with that type of product. And then I let them know what are the major benefits. Typically, you want to do at least five and then max around 10 so that you don't overwhelm and then give them some to do's and not to do's when they're filming content. So add text overlays, do quick clips that are two to four seconds, have trending music, use unique hooks, always have great lighting. And a lot of the not to do's is don't have clips that are too long, don't have text benefits that are too many words, et cetera, et cetera. But you really have to train them. And in a lot of cases, film an SOP video so to really get exactly what you want. Because at the end of the day, content creators, are content creators. They are not marketers. They don't know exactly what you want. So the more inspiration, the more information you can give them, the better the product's going to be. Now, if you want a whole video dedicated to all the different TikTok ad angles you can take to make your product stand out and make a ton of money with, all you have to do is leave a like and subscribe down below. Now, hold on, cowboy. Now that you got your ad script and your clips, you need one more vital thing, and that's to be inspired because in order to create a winning ad creative you need to know what a winning ad creative looks like and i would say the best places to study winning ads is right now on pp ads pp ads is a whole tiktok ad platform that has a host of different tiktok ads from big e-commerce brands dropshipping brands all of the sort so basically you can create collections of all the best ads that you see and you can find these different takeaways and these different nuances from studying all these ads from the different frameworks that they use to sell their products so hook problem demo benefits call to action you can see how do they organize their text how do they do captions how do they do their cuts how do they make the product stand out there's so many things you can learn by studying the best ad creatives and i really do believe there's no way in hell you can make a winning ad creative without doing the proper studying so for my team we've created collections called all called dropshipping that they have to study in order to understand what a good ad looks like and you can also do ad research on the tiktok creative center you can see united states e-commerce conversions to find winning ads to get that inspiration for your brand Brand. So let's take a look at one of those ads right now. We got this person right here uh, talking about, I believe, Lizzo's clothing brand. I really feel like I'm living in a fever dream right now because... Okay, that was a little bit boring of a hook. I mean, she didn't talk, but I like the way that they do the captions. So they have auto captions turned on and it's a little white text, nice little gray background. It's slightly transparent, but I really like that. And I would say that's something you can take away if you're doing auto captions on your videos. So again, there's so many little things like that that you don't really notice, but can make a difference with your ad performance. So again, you have to be studying the big boys constantly to be learning what is working right now. Because what was working six months ago, is not working today in ads. And especially with platforms like TikTok and Facebook, I would say 95% of your success comes down to creative. It does not matter what ad strategy you are doing. It will not help a bad ad creative, but a winning ad creative will always elevate a crappy basic ad strategy. And that's why it's insanely important to be testing 5, 10, 15 ad creatives when you are testing a product in TikTok rather than trying 5, 10, 15 different ad strategies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Get those leashes off. We need to start editing. This is the really boring, monotonous part of it all. I will admit it's not very sexy, but you really do need to understand how to do this if you want to be a successful dropshipper, especially if you're a one man or one woman team. I do not discriminate. So personally, when it comes to video editors, I actually use CapCut. It is completely free to download on desktop, on your phone as well. And there's different nuances between the different platforms. And you're probably asking, why would you use CapCut when there's Adobe Premiere? There's all these other things. But when you're doing TikTok ad creatives, the whole purpose of it is to try to make it look natural and native to TikTok. And CapCut is owned by the same company and it has a lot of those elements from the TikTok editor that are also on CapCut. And that's not a feature that you'll see on any of these Adobe Premiere's or bigger time editor tools. And what I mean is they have a library of audios that are going viral on TikTok right now that are non-copyright versus copyrighted. They have text effects that are only available on TikTok and CapCut as well. Like real quick, I just added this text and you can add the basic white with black outline. You can do all of these text text effects, which really are very hard to replicate in most editing tools, but they just come built into CapCut, which makes it such a huge advantage. And obviously they have animations and they also have the exact text to speech people. Default text. I like to see your editing tool do that. Now, the most important part of editing a TikTok ad creative is cutting out the dead weight, the filler, the fluff. And I would say the best test to understand if a line that an influencer says is fluff is the WIFM test. What's in it for me? If you hear the line they say, and it doesn't automatically pertain to your audience or make you think, wow, that's an interesting benefit that I will definitely consider when I buy this product you should cut it out. Something came in the mail today. I am super excited. So for instance, in this clip, this influencer says, this came in the mail, I'm super excited. What's in it for me there? 
absolutely nothing. I could care less that something came into the mail for her. But when she says a line like, this eye massager has helped me sleep in seconds, that pertains to me. I'm like, oh my God, wait, can that also do the same result for me as well? So those are the type of clips that you're looking for. You want to get rid of all of the basic kind of filler lines that, oh, it's super easy to use as well, because there's going to be some benefits that, yes, I'm sure that it can be perceived as a benefit, like, wow, it's easy to use or it's ergonomical, but those are just buzzwords. Nobody cares. You just keep in the lines that really talk about the major benefits. So let's actually get into editing this live. I'll try to make it entertaining for the sake of my YouTube retention. All right. So so we're going to cut right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on split. We're going to get rid of that first section because that's just not going to be necessary. When I'm doing my editing with my ads, I usually have a bunch of different clips and they're all going to be benefit, benefit, benefit. So let's see right here if this next line's a benefit. So this is an eye massager, but it has like crazy cool benefits. That's a decent line. It's also a bit of filler, if I'm being honest. I could see it as a hook because that will get your attention. You're like, okay, what are the benefits? So yeah, I would say for your hook, you can get away with a line like that. But in most cases, if it's going to be in the middle of your ad, no, that's not going to work. I'm always looking at the screen. So this has been so nice to have. I'm always looking at the screen. So that's nice to have Eh, kind of weak. And it just produces stress overall and headaches and mm. wireless Bluetooth. OK, I would say the wireless Bluetooth part I don't really care about. But the part where she says it reduces stress and eliminates headaches. That's a good line. That is a whiff -um line 100%. What's in it for me? It reduces your stress and eliminates headaches. I'm keeping that. Overall, you're usually going to get about three to five clips from every clip that you actually add. So we have 12 clips here. We're going to make three clips from each one of them. So you're going to have a lot of clips you can play around with to make a ton of different ads because the only difference between an ad creative you really need is changing up the hook or changing up the music. So you could see just from having 12 clips, you can make 30, 40, 50 unique ads. So this is an eye massager, but it has like crazy cool benefits and it just produces stress overall and headaches. So right now, it's literally massaging my eyes it has relaxing music playing and ooh, it's like massaging over here in the corners so let me edit another clip for you so you can really get the feel of things let's see here. this device right here is the solution to dry eyes dark circles and eye strain Woof! that is a great hook right there that might end up being the hook that we actually used i mean that is getting right into the benefits the meat and potatoes this is what solves that problem I like that. That's 100% going to be one of the hooks I test. Warm heat alleviates dry eyes by stimulating the tear ducts. It kind of sounded like a benefit. I mean, it was a benefit, but it felt flat to me. I don't know why. I think his voiceover felt a little just weird. So I think I wouldn't really use that line. This has completely changed my life. I spend a lot of time in front of the computer working. So this really helps me out a lot. That is a pretty decent line because he says that he spends a lot of time on the computer and I can guarantee people that are on the computer a lot are searching for products like this. So I would definitely keep that in. I think that's something that I would recommend using. Does it really say a whiff on benefit? Not necessarily. It helps, but he didn't really get into the benefit. It's a very hard medium, but I would say err on the side of keeping clips rather than deleting. Every time I use it, it's refreshing and it improves my sleep quality. That's a good line. That's a straight up benefit. So we would keep that in. It even comes equipped with Bluetooth connectivity for increased enjoyment. Eh, Bluetooth connectivity for your enjoyment. Oh, yeah, that's kind of boring for me. We're going to take that out. My favorite part is that you can choose in between a few different heating settings and you can listen to your favorite music while you use it. That's a pretty good benefit. So, you know, OK, I can customize the different heat settings. So if it gets too hot, I can customize it. I can also listen to music while this is happening. There's a lot of unique benefits that really make this enticing. So 100 percent keep that clip in. Order now with free shipping. I highly recommend this product. I typically don't do many call to actions of people talking in the call to action. I like to usually just do text and then it's just a random demonstration clip but it's not the worst thing to try around I, I could definitely see this working and outperforming a typical text benefit as a call to action so i would say we can keep that in as well now a quick dobbins pro tip when you are downloading clips from tiktok and somebody is talking in the clip which is great those are the clips you want to find make sure there is no background music because if you download a clip that has a person talking and background music that means when you put that clip into your ad you're most likely going to have three different audio tracks and really in an ad what you should have is a bunch of people talking without any background music so that you can put your own background music to that ad which you're most likely going to do but if the clip you downloaded already has that background music it's going to compete with the music you chose for that ad and it's going to seem incredibly unprofessional and i'll show you a quick example of what that looks like so with this this thing is crazy but 10 out of 10. it's a person talking and you can hear that background music so i wouldn't recommend downloading a clip like this but 
clips you can download that have background music would be ones like this one where nobody's talking you're just showing out the product it's in someone's hand it might be somebody's wearing it and they have background music and the reason why you can still use those clips is because all you have to do is just mute the clip then put your music on top of it so that it feels natural so i was able to get the golden nuggets from all of my clips but i really want to show this ad right here it's 55 seconds long and i believe you will find clips that are so good that you don't need to use clips from other ads or from other videos you can just have the same model and typically that works the best because it feels the most natural to TikTok. because when you look at TikTok videos it's usually one person talking about their experience reviewing a product so if you can find those really solid clips of somebody who mentions all the talking points that you need you don't need to have another model or have a compilation from somebody else in fact this is a golden standard clip that if you can find this for your product it makes your job so much easier so let's go through it i don't know about you but i struggle so much with tired overworked eyes between filming under these bright lights all of the time editing on a computer all the time i mean this is amazing because she already has a great hook so i don't know if you've had trouble with eye strain blah 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 blah, blah but it's always been a big problem for me and then she gets into how it was a problem and in a lot of my scripts i do hook problem then show the product solving that problem so she's already done the work for me so when i have a clip like this i'm usually just going to edit it down and make sure it follows my framework and then boom that's an ad right there just from one model which is amazing so let's actually get into editing this the hook is really important we want to make sure this is short simple to the point so let's see if there's any filler that we can remove i don't know about you but i struggle so much okay so i don't know about you that would be the filler we can definitely get rid of that but when she said i struggle with blank that should be the start. So let's get into it. So that's now removed. So let's get into it. I struggle so much with tired, overworked eyes. That could be the hook right there. That is short, simple to the point. I struggle with eye pain. Boom. Between filming under these bright lights all of the time, editing on a computer all the time, my eyes stay very irritated. I mean, she's just nailed it. That's exactly what we do. We got the hook. She talks about the problem. I will admit it was a little bit longer, but in this instance, I'm fine with that. I know in most cases you want your clips to be two to four seconds. That's a great guideline. But sometimes with guidelines, they're meant to be broken. So if it works, and let's say in this instance, so she talks for 317 to 325, that's eight seconds. She mentions a lot of great problems. So I would keep that in because you could try to get this to four seconds. I do believe it's possible, but I think you would disrupt the flow and it would feel very over edited and not natural. So let me see if there's any way we can actually edit this. I honestly probably wouldn't touch it, but let's see. So I would say the only way we can make that happen is if we cut right here and we just do from editing all the time, my eyes are constantly sore. So that's the major problem it might work so let's see if this flows here overworked eyes editing on a computer all the time my eyes stay very irritated it might work it might be something you want to play around with now we want to make sure with each clip we get rid of that background space we don't want to have any dead space in our ads and our especially at the end of clips that's when i notice the most dead space when it doesn't really flow so let's see how this flows at the end here stay very irritated Is it okay cool so i think that does flow very well we get right into the next clip and notice this when i zoom in the audio tracks start immediately when the clip is introduced i don't wait a second i don't wait 0.5 seconds because you're going to lose people immediately so when you're doing those cuts make sure you cut fast right when the person stops talking boom we need a next clip get right into it it's got to be quick fast cuts because that's just how the TikTok style is. Now, when I was editing this clip, there was one weird clip that I think can really help you with your editing as a great lesson. And it was right here when she said, this baby really helps me. But the problem with this is when she said this baby, look at the actual clip, look at the video. You see how, okay, she's holding it and then it cuts very abruptly, but the audio track starts here. So I don't really like how, okay, we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seconds of that, and then it cuts here. So I would personally, for the sake of keeping everything congruent, I would start the clip right here because that's natural, showing it off, it feels good, but that harsh cut of 0 0.1 seconds and then bleh, it doesn't look good. So in order to make this actually work, what I would recommend doing is you separate the audio track from the video, which in CapCut is super simple. You just click separate audio like this, and then boom, you got your separated audio. And what I would recommend doing now is we're gonna go to this, we're gonna drag it, drag it, drag it until there. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna have our audio track also lined up with that. So we're just gonna move it slightly over and let's see how this sounds. Your tired eyes. This baby has five massage modes. 
Yep, I think that lines up perfectly fine. And again, that's just a great way of doing your editing to make sure, okay, in some instances, the person filming did not really line the audio with the clip. So sometimes you have to do that yourself by separating the audio. So again, though, I thought it was a really solid ad. She nailed it. She talked about benefits. She talked about call to actions that everyone needs this. So let me actually get into the rest of this because I was super impressed. So has built in heating pads to help relieve dry eyes. For me, this really helps to relieve the headaches and eye fatigue that I get from the work that I do looking at screens all day. It's a great way to give yourself some self-care. I mean, that's a good call to action at the end. It's a great way to give yourself some self-care. So I would say that as an ad alone, a hundred percent can work. It was a great hook. Talked about the problem, talked about benefits, demonstrated the product. It fits everything that you need in a good ad. Now, obviously the most important part of your TikTok ad creative is the hook. It is the opportunity. What is the biggest problem that you're solving with this product? What is the biggest opportunity or the biggest claim I can make about how this product solves that problem? So is it, oh, you can lose 20 pounds in a certain amount of time. Is that gonna catch people's attention? Or is it, hey, are you tired of being tired? Maybe that can be the hook. There's so many different ways you can approach it. And this is the area where you have to split test the most. You have to try, okay, let me do a problem as the hook, or let me try this huge, bold claim, or let me try this huge benefit that I've seen so many people talk about as to why they bought the product. And this clip should be around two to four seconds max when you're doing it. So you really have to simplify that big claim or that big problem in as few words as possible. And when you're choosing a clip for your hook, I would either recommend having someone talk, so they're talking and actually saying an actual hook. So this product changed my life, something along those lines. Or if you're struggling with this problem, then stop scrolling right now. So if the actual clip that you found online or the influencer that you're working with said a good hook, that can definitely be used by itself without even showing the product. But in most cases, if you don't have a good clip like that, you want to show a demonstration clip of your product in use or a dramatic reaction. Like someone puts on the product and they're going, ah! Oh my God, I'm gonna nut right now. This is such an amazing massage. So let's go over some of the great hooks I was able to find after editing all these clips. If you get migraines and eye strain, don't you dare scroll away. This device right here is the solution to dry eyes, dark circles, and eye strain. I struggle so much with tired, overworked eyes. I mean, right there, those are three great hooks that we can play around, split test, and see which one works and performs the best. So once you write your script, it's really vital that when you do all the editing with your clips, you find the clip that best represents that text. So for this right here, do your eyes feel dry, watery, and tired? This works perfectly with the hook right here of this woman saying, hey, my eyes are always strained. They're always watery. This is a perfect clip that matches. So let's add our text real quick. And we want to make sure this text is the whole duration of the clip example. So we're gonna put this right here. And when you're playing around with text, if you put it too high, the TikTok overlay is gonna get involved. So you don't want it to be overlapping. And if you put it too low, it's the same case. If you put it too much to the right, the like, the comment, the share buttons will get in the way. So you wanna put it generally in this area right here, I would say max right around this height. Now, when it comes to fonts, the best font you wanna use is typically the system font. This is the most native to TikTok. But if you're wondering what is the exact font type if you are editing on a different software it is called proxima nova bold that is the exact font you want to download you can go from fontfree.com you download it it's super easy to add to any editing tool and if you're on your phone as well let me show you how you can do it so right now i'm on fontsfree.com we got the proxima nova bold so we click the download button right there and once you're good to go go into CapCut, go into the text icon right here we would go to add text you know, you enter whatever text you want, and then you go over to the font key, you go to the plus icon, and that's where you would add the font that you download. So I did from fonts free, click on that, and it'll say the font already exists. So you have your little section right here from English to import font that will show the Proxima Nova bold. And I would say the other font you can use, and this is easily downloadable onto both things, is Kaufman Bold Script, also known as the handwriting one on TikTok. This is the very girly slay queen, boss queen, and it really does stand out. It is great. For hooks, I would not though recommend it for any of the benefits. It's just solely for hooks because it kinda is a little bit hard to read. So let's edit these lines in CapCut to make sure that they are native to TikTok because that is the whole point of the text. Make it feel native and that it's not like an ad. So for me, I would always use the white with black outline. I would say the only other ones you can really use that would work is this pink and this blue. I wouldn't really recommend using them too often though. In most cases, you are always gonna do white with black outline. Now, 
on the desktop version, they're automatically default to a 40 thickness. I would say the thickness you want to do is about 18 to 20. I would say that is thick enough with four C's. And believe me, I have done the eyeball test. This is the right amount of thickness that is native to TikTok. So you want to do that. Let's make this nice and tiny. I would say the spacing of the lines is also a bit off. So when you have two lines, I would just lower that. And I would say where it feels natural to me is around negative five, negative three-ish. I would say negative five feels the best for me. So let's cover what to do with your text because there's so many different ways you can customize it with animations, text-to-speech, outlines. There's so many things that it can lead to a lot of bad ads and it also can lead to a lot of great ones. So I would say when you're doing your lines, a good rule of thumb is typically you wanna have four words in each line. On this one, I have five, but when it comes to size, if I move this dry down, we can see it's actually gonna look really, really awkward because now the bottom line is a little bit larger and longer. I typically like the first line though to be the larger one. So I think this one actually fits and flows a little better. Now let's talk about what animations you should do. I would only recommend doing an animation once or twice if you're really feeling spicy in the ad. Typically you're gonna do an animation on the text as the hook to make it stand out. So what I would recommend, I would say the different ones I like. So if you go to animation and then in, I would say the random letter one works pretty well. Flutter is another one that also definitely catches my attention. Another one, wobble, I feel like also can work for sure. It opens another pretty solid one, faded right. And then I would say the final one is type two. So this one, wipe an LR, I think is pretty solid. And then there was the concentrate one right here that also works in my eyes. Again, you have to play around and figure out which ones you feel like works the best for you. Because what I like, you might not like as well. And then when it comes to sizing, this is a very interesting debate. I would say around here is a solid size. It's not too big, not too small. This is also a good size. If you go like this, too small, too small, I would say that's okay. But yeah, right around here, wanna keep it big, keep it bold. Don't want it though to take up too much space. So if I go here to my text size, I have it at around 115 to 125% scale and my font size is 15. So if you wanna do the exact numbers, that's what you would do here. And placement wise, I usually like to avoid putting text on anyone's face. So I'll put it on top, yeah, near the hair. Now, another way you can customize your text for the hook is by using the text templates. Now, I would say a lot of these are pretty trash. They're very fugly, but there's two that I do like and I think can work only exclusively as hooks. So if you go here to text and then text templates, these are the two that I really like. It's the text one right here, which is an actual text and you can put in your hook line here. So we could do, okay, are you tired of being tired? And that's another thing you'll notice when I'm doing the typing of my captions for my script, I like to capitalize the first letter of each word. I don't know why, it just really stands out to me. So if we were to do this text message, let's see how this looks with the full screen. Are you tired of being tired? I would say that is pretty decent, but I just wanna make this so it fits within the square. So let's just drop that down real quick. Let's see how that looks. Are you tired of being tired? That looks so sick. And I would say if we could also get a nice little text message notification sound, that would really sell it. And I think that will get your attention. All right, so I added a little audio right here of a text message. Let's see how that sounds. I know this is gonna be incredibly irritating, but hey, it's in the sake of good ads. Nice. I think that is a solid hook. Are you tired of being tired? It catches you off guard too, which I also like because you're like, Wait, this can't be an ad. I mean, they got a text message, they got the bell, and that's kind of the feeling you want. You want a kind of Trojan horse that, hey, maybe this is more of a TikTok video, but really it's an ad. And I would say the other text template that I like is this right here. It's more of a typewriter type of thing. So we can see right here, if I go back, it's gonna say, I love you. It types it out and I really like the animation. So I would say those are the only ones I would recommend just for the hook. All right, so let's add text to one of our benefit clips. Now, when it comes to the benefit clips, I don't recommend animations. I don't recommend doing anything crazy. I would just do white with black outline 95% of the time, unless you have made the decision to do a different style throughout the ad. And what I would recommend doing, if you are doing the blue one, let's say this one, I would stick with that throughout the video. Stick with one text style throughout the entire ad. So if in the first hook you have, okay, this white with black outline, stick with that for the rest of it. Keep it congruent. Don't do, all right, for my hook, I'll do the white with black outline. And then for my next benefit, I'm gonna do pink. And then for the next one, I'm gonna do orange and just make an entire rainbow conglomerate mess of an ad that nobody is going to feel any trust of. Nobody really mixes in a ton of different styles. You wanna keep it simple, keep it to one style. And I would say the only real exception to that is if you do white with black outline and then you 
you do the black text with a white background. That is the only time that actually works. And if you're wondering about doing the text with a canvas background behind it, I would say if you're using the desktop version of CapCut, they really don't have the option to customize it the way that TikTok likes to do the overlays. But there is a way of doing the exact same TikTok background of the overlay inside of the CapCut mobile app. So let's hop back onto our little phone. So we're now on the mobile version. Now, when it comes to editing text, so let me just open my text. I got this right here of my name. And when we click on it, let's go down to style and then canvas. So when you're doing a text bubble, the background behind the text, the only real way to do it is typically going to be white text with a certain background. So we'll do, let's say white text. And then we got this little red background. Now, if you're wondering about the exact settings you're going to need, let's scroll on down here. So with the corner radius, this is typically going to be around 35. I found 35 to have the exact right edge amount because there is a bit of an edge difference on TikTok. Then when it comes to opacity, this is typically going to be around 75% or 100%. It's up to you to choose. So some people like to do around 75. So that's what 75 looks like. I'll actually make this larger so you can get a good grip here. So we just put our fingers together. So that's 75. That's 100. So typically people will do one or the other. When it comes to the height, this is typically going to be 100. That is the exact style that works on TikTok. And then when it comes to the width, you're typically going to do around 55. So 55, 100 height, corner radius 35. And then when you go to opacity, either 100% or around 75% to get that exact text effect. And I would say for backgrounds, when you're using a white font, the ones that you can use as a background is typically going to be a red. You can use a black. You can use a blue and orange. So let me see. We got the orange one I think looks nice. A light blue typically also looks pretty good. So this one right here, I would say works. And then there's also a mint green that I do like. So you could do this type of green. I would say this definitely does stand out. But if you are going to do a black text, which on mobile, you go to text, you click on black, and then we would go to canvas. So when we go to canvas, let's say we add this. I would say the only thing you can do with black text is typically going to be the white background. A lot of people do that. So they got the black text, white background. Let's go down here. We're going to make sure all our settings are right because it does automatically reset. So we go height 100. We go width around 55. And yes, that is the one you will always see. So you can definitely do a mix of this one right here, which is the white text with a black outline, and then also the black text with a white background. Now, just because I'm a nitpicker, I really want to make sure you got this exactly right when it comes to the fonts and the styles. So let's actually edit this style real quick right here because when you are doing the black overlay on white text on mobile, it is different than desktop. So we're gonna really focus on that stroke game. So you go over to stroke right here, and instead of impregnating a woman, what you're gonna do is do a stroke thickness of around 29. That is the exact eyeball same as TikTok in my eyes. I mean, geez Louise, that just looks so sexy. What can I say, your boy? he's mastered his craft. Now, when it comes to the length of your TikTok ad, it's really important to understand that different lengths can work. It's not always just going to be, okay, keep it as short as possible, nine to 15 seconds. Everyone is super ADHD. I can't even focus for half a millisecond. They're like goldfish out there, which when you're doing your editing should definitely be the mindset. You want to have quick cuts. You want to make sure every clip serves a purpose, but I still think you can have a 30 to 35 second ad, which has a bunch of clips that all sell your product and all make sense. So you just need to be able to make it entertaining. And the only way you make things sound entertaining is by having the right text, by having quick cuts, by keeping the action always going and making sure you have no fluff in your ads. And typically when you're selling a non-problem solving product, your ads are going to be shorter because there's not really benefits. You just want to show off typically three to five clips. It's more of a freestyle type of ad of the product in use. So different models using the product, different backgrounds of the product. You're not going to really focus on benefits or people talking about how amazing it is. It's just going to be make it look cool. In a lot of cases, you're going to do that by having those variety of clips. But for a problem solving product, those are typically going to be longer ads. They're going to be around 15 to 30 seconds. You've got to explain the product. You got to explain the problem. You got to explain the solution. There's a lot more explaining done, which is why these ads are typically going to be longer. But the big trap is don't make it 40 or 50 seconds because you don't need that much explanation. Just focus on the major three benefits, I would say, of the product. Because when you talk about five, six, seven different benefits, it just goes over everyone's head. They're not going to remember all of that. So you want to keep it incredibly simple. Keep it to one to three major benefits as to why someone should buy your product. And the only way you can figure that out is by doing the research as to why people buy. And also just making sure that your clips aren't insanely long. So for a hook, again, the golden rule, 
two to four seconds for your clips outside of your hook typically you also want to make them two to four seconds but in some cases they're going to be six seconds eight seconds these are just frameworks they are guidelines you have to feel it out and i would say for this 35 second ad right here it definitely flows everything flows but some of the clips are longer and some of them are shorter and that's just how it's going to be in a lot of cases all right so after some polishing i believe we have made a solid ad here and the final thing you're going to notice is the music choice and when you're selecting music it's really important that you encapsulate the mood of your product because if you're selling a sleep product you want music that's more lo-fi that's more calm it's more relaxing and obviously if you're selling a hunting rifle it's gonna be insane it's gonna be action-packed big bone type of music so where i actually source non-copyrighted music is from epidemic sound it costs around 15 dollars a month but i believe that's an absolute bargain because it has different moods and it has so many different tracks you can choose from to pick the perfect music for your ad so i would go right into here we got again all these different moods so we can go straight into laid back. I feel like that's going to be absolutely perfect for our product. Go through these and see which one works the best. And when you're choosing music, it isn't always going to be the whole entire song that works. It might be only certain sections. So you have to know if my ad is 20 seconds long, 30 seconds long. All right. Is there 20 or 30 seconds in this music that works? So let's play this song real quick. And does it work? I feel like that's the right vibe I want. It's nice, it's relaxing, and you can also customize a bunch of different things. So they got all the different moods, genres. BPM is also super important. So if you want a more faster paced type of music and product, then yes, this is the music choices that you would go with. And if you want it to be a little slower, or a little more calm, which I actually do want, I would definitely do around 70 to 100 BPM. And then obviously you can also pick music from CapCut itself because it has trending TikTok non-copyright audios like, of course, Lazy Sunday. Absolutely. So it's up to you to choose which method works better for you. I would recommend doing a combination of both to figure out the right sound. But let's look at the final product for this ad right here. I struggle so much with tired, overworked eyes. Sitting on a computer all the time, my eyes stay very irritated. This is exactly why I'm so excited that I found this product. It provides soothing eye stimulation for tired eyes. This baby has five massage modes. Whoa, 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 five massage modes? I wrote six. Okay, and that's why you have to proofread your ad and watch it a few times before. Definitely definitely publishing it so yeah we'll do that right quick and again a few things with the text I like to customize the text placement I don't want it to be in the same place all the time so we started with it being in the top third and then I like to move it to, down to the middle and I like to kind of have it sporadically in different places so that the viewer doesn't get bored and that's another way you can keep their attention and again with the line spacing I would say you can do around negative four negative five make sure that's for every single line because when you're doing cap cut the default's always going to be zero but let's look at the rest of it just keep it simple this really helps to relieve the headaches and eye fatigue that I get from the work that I do looking at screens all day it's a great way to give yourself some self-care 27 seconds I think that's super solid great clips great text benefits and if you notice i had to adjust my text a lot because when i went back to my scripts i noticed that in these scripts they don't really align too much with the clips so there's sometimes a balance you have to play where if you have a great ad like that one where it has amazing clips all right we might have to adjust our benefits and as a video editor you have to understand copywriting as well so that okay if my lines don't exactly correlate perfectly what line and what benefit would work for this specific clip and i went back here if i look at this script nap like a baby to your favorite songs that was never mentioned. She never mentioned anything about really songs or anything. I think she might have slightly mentioned that as a benefit. So maybe we could have included that as a line. But I noticed she said something like five massage modes. So I, I was like, all right, with a product that has five massage modes, what's the benefit? What's in it for me? Well, you, that means you can fall to sleep faster. So fall to sleep faster with five massage modes. And she then talks about relieving headaches and eye fatigue. That's a great benefit. So that's the text I decided to use. So sometimes when you are figuring out your clips, you will have to adjust the script as well and also vice versa. So I also want to talk about when you have a script that's set in place, how do we find the right clips? So right here, my first line in this script is stop scrolling if you suffer from eye strain. So if I'm trying to find a clip for that, I can do a variety of things. I could find a stock clip of someone rubbing their eyes and they're clearly suffering. They're very tired. Maybe they have red eyes. So you might find a stock clip of that or you might find someone on TikTok that is literally saying stop scrolling if you suffer from eye strain. But I will admit it can be very hard. It's like a needle in a haystack to find that exact clip that works. But thankfully through the proper research, I was able to find a clip that does correlate with this. So let's listen in. 
If you get migraines and eye strain, don't you dare scroll away. Literally perfect. She says, don't scroll away. The text says, don't scroll away. And it says eye strain. So I got really lucky there, but that's just what happened when you do proper research. And then my next line is bring your eyes to life after hours of screens, screen time, etc. I wanted to shorten it down a little bit. Now, for that text, I would definitely need to find a clip of someone saying, hey, I spent hours on my computer, I spent hours in front of my phone, or if I can't find someone talking about that, then I will need to find a clip of someone literally looking at a screen, rubbing their eyes, being tired, if I can't find that exact text. And then we might have a narrator read out this line, but that's an important thing that I also wanna cover with the narrator. I don't believe you should do a narrator for each line if you can't find any good UGC talking points. I think you should really only do the narrator for your hook because I see that when you do every single line with the text-to-speech narrator, it's boring. People don't like it. They do scroll away. So I would only recommend using the narrator for the hook. And if you have other lines in here where you don't have a UGC creator talking, it's fine to have clips where it's just the text on screen and it's just the music. That is totally fine. If it's a good clip demonstrating what is being said by the text. So in this case, bring your eyes to life after hours of screen time. So it's probably going to be two clips for this line. So the first couple seconds would be someone on a screen rubbing their eyes then the next couple seconds would be using the product and bringing their eyes to life and we can do that by just having that one line so for some cases you'll have one line but then you'll show two clips during the duration of that line but obviously the best case scenario is that you do one line one clip to make it all very seamlessly but again you'll notice this a lot with jewelry ads so they'll have a benefit on screen and then they'll flash multiple clips during the duration of that one line so again you got to play around you got to feel this is where your editing skills really need to show so let's review what this guy says right here this has completely changed my life i spend a lot of time in front of the computer working so this really helps me out a lot so i would say if i really wanted to shorten this down a bit because this line ends up going 43 to 50 so that's seven seconds there was a bit of filler at the beginning so let's actually go back and review this has completely changed my life so we can get rid of this has completely changed my life because again with them does that really matter to me does that actually correlate with this right here no it's more of just a generic line and it's up to you if you want to keep it or not for me i would actually delete that so we get straight to the point and we could shorten it down a bit so let's see how this sounds Wait. i spend a lot of time in front of the computer working so this really helps me out a lot so there we go i spend a lot of time in front of the computer and this helps me out a lot that gets right to the point point. and now another thing i really want to cover is the audio balance this clip right here the audio is much louder than this one right here and you want to make the audio go exactly the same throughout the video it shouldn't peak it shouldn't go up and then down so it's really important if you notice okay this person right here their audio is lower let's increase it let's get them decibels make sure these wavelengths match each other so let's see when we go from clip to clip is there a decrease or increase in audio hopefully not you dare scroll away i spend a lot of time in front of the computer working so this really helps me out a lot I would say that is a lot more balanced and we had to raise up the audio, which is perfectly fine. Now, when you're doing the audio balance from your music to the person talking, what I would recommend doing in a lot of instances is you're going to lower the music by around 19 to 25 decibels. And obviously you got to play around, but it has to be background music. That's the whole point of music to be in the background. It's not the major focus. The major focus is typically going to be the person talking. It's always going to be the person talking. So if you feel like the music and the person talking is competing with each other, that's a problem. You need to lower the music audio and I would recommend around 19 to 20. So let's listen in again here. I'm so excited that I found this product. It provides soothing eyes. I feel like that sounds pretty good. I would say we could lower it a little bit and see how that sounds. You want to play around. Let's see. Stimulation for tired eyes. This baby has five massage modes. It all it's not bad. I think either one really does work. And obviously you want to also play around with different music, see what fits the best. But the whole point of all this is to make your ads feel different. And the only way to make your ads feel different is by having different frameworks, is by writing scripts, is by finding great clips, great benefits. And when you find great clips, adjusting your script to those. And when you have a great script, adjusting your clips to fit the script as well. Now, another important part of editing is the cropping, what you leave in versus what you keep out. And I would say with this first clip with this hook right here, it looks completely natural it's just a girl zoomed in on her face but the original clip did not look like this in fact what it actually was if i just zoom out a little bit was this my favorite headache hack and it already had text on it and it looked really bad with having my text and also hers so what i decided to do 
is I zoomed in on the model and then I just centered her like this. And this is something that's really important. You want to eliminate the empty space. Like right here, this guy, he might be super zoomed out and far away. So what you might want to do is just drag him on in, make sure we fill the frame, and then we might have to edit where we put the text, but that's totally fine. Make sure you are filling up the frame. Do not have a lot of empty space because a lot of times like this clip right here, you can see all of this, this top third is completely wasted. So we want to drag this up, make this model fill out the frame just like this. Maybe we would even want to drag it up a little bit more. That way we're filling out the frame and then we can put our text right around here. And then finally, when you're doing transitions from one clip to another, you want to again, eliminate the empty space. There should not be any ums or any space after they're done talking because that's just wasted potential. So as we can see right here, uh, let's see how this ends. So this really helps me out a lot. So I cut it immediately after and I'm starting the next clip. There should not be any 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds. It's got to get right into the next clip. The next clip needs to start. The person needs to be talking. There shouldn't be any pauses. In fact, I actually left one right here just so you can see what that looks like at the end of this one. If you get migraines and eye strain, don't you dare scroll away. There's a bit of a pause at the end there. So what I would do, eliminate that, drag like this. Dare scroll away super easy so what i would recommend doing as a frame of reference is usually you want to give it about 0.1 seconds max at the end because yes if you do cut as soon as they're done technically speaking it does feel a little bit weird so there's a bit of a pause about 0.1 seconds and then i would say my final thing before i show you this ad is when you're doing the text there's two different styles and i actually after reviewing it a little bit I think doing an uppercase on the first word and then lowercase for the rest actually is the most natural thing. When I did all uppercase, it does feel weird, but make that creative choice of, okay, if I'm doing all lowercase, then stick to lowercase and then the capital of the first word. Or if I'm doing all uppercase for the first letter of each word, stick with that. Don't do a mix of both because it just feels weird. If you get migraines and eye strain, don't you dare scroll away. I spend a lot of time in front of the computer working, so this really helps me out a lot. So right now it's literally massaging my eyes. It has relaxing music playing and ooh, it's like massaging over here in the corners. I sleep like a baby now. It's amazing. Go get one for yourself. You will not regret it. And that framework was the typical TikTok hook, three benefits, call to action. So again, totally different frameworks so that we can have unique ads to see what sells our product the best. Also, according to YouTube, they think this video right here is gonna be the most valuable for your e-commerce journey.